Greece is struggling to meet the tough conditions set by international lenders. The cash-strapped country is hoping to get a long-delayed tranche of a crucial bailout package this month. EU and IMF inspectors are now assessing Athens' progress in meeting the terms of the 130 billion euro rescue. The Greek finance minister has promised there will be no more austerity cuts, but lenders are pressing for severe job reductions in the country's bloated public sector. They're demanding that 25,000 workers are laid off this year and a total of 150,000 by 2016. In the meantime, fiscal belt tightening and rising unemployment are driving young Greeks away from their country, as Tom Barton reports. We refuse to work for free. We demand our right to education. Messages of protest by youth seeing opportunities to better themselves snatched away. These students are protesting against plans to close university departments across Greece. They don't want to be left behind and made into, as they say, slaves of the 21st century. Manolis and Satiris are two students also opposed to the so-called Athena plan. The government aim is to close dozens of university departments outside central city campuses. But it's not even that they concede. It's just a small part of the malaise which seems to hang over the country's young. I believe the youth from the cities have no future. So the only solution is to leave Greece. Maybe the president of the European Parliament was right to say that an entire generation may have been lost to crisis and austerity. Greece's situation is certainly more bleak than most, whether you're near retirement or working your first shifts. The shifts here in Greece, sometimes they don't even get paid. We don't get paid for the shifts, so we are working and we see no results. With some estimates of Greek youth unemployment as high as 60%, Desperate times are giving rise to desperate suggestions. It's not just the young in Greece using that word, slavery. We don't control our fate. We are slaves. It is a political problem and we must become again free. But far from rhetoric about taking to the streets and throwing off shackles, many Greeks I speak to are thinking just like Kostas, struggling through his last two years of medical school. So, Costas, after these two years, what do you think the future is going to hold for you? I'm thinking of uh, leaving Greece uh, so that I can find my future somewhere else. OK. Good luck with that, Costas. Thank you very much. All right. There he goes, leaving us here in the interview back to his studies. But Costas could end up, like many more Greeks like him, leaving Greece altogether. Tom Barton, RT, Thessaloniki, Greece.